Okay, now let's go to Sculpture. Sculpture is a very, very big uh, program. Uh, let me just go through it really simply. There are three different objects for you to choose from uh, to create a sound. Now, the way that it creates sound is that it affects a string. <laughs> Uh, there are many ways to affect a string though. You can you can hit it, you can strike it, you can blow on it, you can bow it, you can disturb it, you can rattle it. I mean there's just all, all kinds of ways. If you right click this you'll get enable string animation. You can hear see a little better. But you can turn on these other objects or ways to affect the string. affect in these three different ways. This is how, how strong you affect it, the strength. Uh, one, two, and three, these are where you put it on the string, where it is affected. These things right here are the pickups, where it picks up the sound. Um, so, so the general concept, you can, you can create just almost an unlimited amount of sounds with this thing, and it's all based on that concept of affecting a string somehow. Now here you have the material. Here, let me pick a different instrument. Um, now you can you change the material from steel, the string to steel to glass to wood to nylon. Okay, that's that's not a very good example. How about this thing? That's not very good either. Let me uh, just try the default. So you just got an amazing supply of, of possibilities here. Up on here, this is the resolution. This affects the uh, harmonics, some harmonics. This affects the tension of the string. This affects the area around the string, whether it be air or water. Uh, key scale and release. These are uh, dealing with those things where you can affect uh, the high is what you affect above middle C and the low, the green one, arrow is where you affect notes below middle C. Um, now you can turn off this, this is a, you can turn off the filter down here with this button. But this is the cutoff and the resonance that you can turn on and off. Here you have the delay. You can turn on and off. You can change and adjust the levels of, of how much it continues to play. Here you have the ADSR and the volume. And here you have the EQ or the, uh, the frequency where you're, we're going to talk about the EQ in the next tutorial, but you can augment or, or lower the frequencies uh, that you want. Down here you have two LFOs and some other crazy features that I still haven't figured out yet. Uh, but some more advanced things that you, I don't think you really need to worry about uh, too much. Um, and the last thing down here is the morph section. Uh, let me pick out this. And you can see how this morph works. It's kind of cool. This thing kind of moves in time. You can actually move these points. You see how as I move this, uh, up here in the material section, it's it's moving where the material is going. It's a really cool feature. I just really encourage you to, especially on this one, to look through all these all these sounds because there's just too many to to count. some crazy alien sounds I mean and it all comes from the concept of affecting a string uh, but there's just so many possibilities to put effects on how you affect that string so this is the sculpture uh, we have two more to go let's go to the ultra beat actually now let's go to uh, the garage band first now if you want to if you want to delete uh, these things you click you can press command W or you just click on the X and it'll delete. Um, so the simpler GarageBand instruments are just uh, all the instruments that you have in GarageBand. And 
as you can see, there's a bunch of band instruments there uh, that you can choose from. But some of these buttons you might um, recognize more, like the filter cutoff, the attack, the release. Those are things that we've gone over already. Okay, now the last instrument for this tutorial is the Ultra Beat. This is uh, the drum sample. Now, if you go to uh, kits, there's just a huge amount of, of drum kits they can use. Uh, that's that's your most basic actual real sounding drum set, but there's just a whole bunch of other ones that are just really electro electrified, I guess, electronic. And they're all all these instruments are written down right here. Now the blue is the volume of all these in, uh, of all these instruments, and notice how when I click on these different instruments, you not only see them but all the stuff to the right changes all the features that's because with all these buttons you can affect every single instrument with all these different effects that gives you a whole bunch of of uh, control over the sound um, so first off you have three types of ways to make the sound you have two oscillators oscillator two down here and oscillator one and you have a noise feature remember noise is just uh, random frequencies um, but the most of the sound is coming usually from oscillator 2 and most of the time it's coming from an AIF or an audio file so just like the EXS24 you can import some audio your own audio files and play them through the keyboard uh, you'll input them right here um, you can change right here you can change the volume you have a filter section right here with the cutoff and the resonance uh, the low pass high pass filter the Q uh, you can change the direction. You can even, with these buttons, you can tell it to even bypass the filter and not even go through the filter. Um, if I turn on the noise, um, or this, if I turn off the oscillator 2, you can hear that, the noise. So you can see how that works. Not all these instruments use all three or even two of them, but sometimes they use both of them or all three of them. So this is where the sound is generated. You can uh, change the pitch. You can do all kinds of things. Over here you have the LFO that you can change it with. Uh, you have some EQ and some envelopes they can use. And here's the main volume. You can also mute things, mute these and solo these. Uh, and you can change the output. I'll talk about the output in, in a second. But let's go over to this view. Now if I click on here and press play, you can hear how these instruments are being played. Now I can click and make my own, or I can unclick them. I can also, um, if I go down to here, then I have different presets. Um, so that's a really, really nice feature. Now I can click, for example, this line, and all of these instruments that we're playing will show up. It shows that how much velocity is being played, and for how long the gate um, I can if I click I can make my own instruments I can put them in and I can make it swing more okay let's say that I really like that and I want to use it in my song so all I gotta do is click and hold this drag it and put it on that. Now if I double click this, you can see that I've got the instruments here. Now this is a MIDI format, so now I can go and I can change these or I can you know I can modify these things however I want. Um, so um, if, if, if you're clicking on one of these non-SQ things, these are all blank for you to put in your own instruments. Uh, but let's go back to the original. Okay, um, let's go to old school funk remix kit. Uh, now, you, not only can you change the general uh, effects of all these instruments, but you can change the every single note on all the instruments that you play. So this is the instrument that we're playing. Uh, 
Okay. Um, if you press this button, the step, you go back to the non-full view, then all the instruments that you play can be changed with any of these buttons. All the, or all the notes that you played can be changed with this button. So let's pick over here the hi-hats or the shakers being played. And let's go to the snare. Okay, so now on this note, uh, the snare is being played. If I press down what I want to affect, the pitch right here, so uh, I can affect the pitch, pull it up or down. Now let's have a listen. So looking back, I can change the pitch, I can change the volume, I can change the, the cutoff or the resonance, I can change all these buttons on every single one of these notes when I'm in the step yellow mode. Um, so that really gives you a whole lot of uh, power to, to change things around. Um, okay, last thing on this, let's go to the Hip Hop Heavy Kit. And I'm just going to show you that last part where um, where you can change the um, the output. So what first thing you need to do is click on this. You need to go to multi-output instead of the stereo. Okay, then um, this is our, our sound. Okay, I'm going to put in some snare hits. Okay, now go back here and on these snares you put them to outputs 3 and 4. Now in our mixer window we should see Ultra Beat right here. You click on this plus thing and you get an auxiliary just for this Ultra Beat. It gets Ultra Beat 3 and 4 and output 1 and 2. So from here now I can put my effects, I'll put some reverb on here and this reverb will affect only those things that are sent to outputs 3 and 4, which are this snare and this snare. Here it goes. So that's how that kind of works. You can, you can individually only affect this snare, these two snares or whatever instrument you want. You can put reverb, you can put delay on it, you do all kinds of things. Um, so that is the Ultra Beat. And that should conclude uh, the general instruments that you find in Logic. Now the next tutorial we're going to talk about East-West, we're going to talk about all the effects, we're going to talk about some extra libraries like the Vienna and the Mote 2 instruments, and uh, that, should be, that should be it. And once you know all that, you'll, you'll know the very basics of the most important things you need to know in Logic. Um, don't remember, don't forget that um, I will include all the, uh, a bunch of references and ways that you can learn more uh, for more detailed explanations and, and, and some of the ways that I learned some of these things. So you can do some additional reading up on and watching. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good time and can make some more good music. Okay, we'll see ya. Bye.